Right, so when I first look at this question here, I can just see an abundance of information, which is a bit concerning, first of all, if you don't know how to approach it. All sorts of things. We've got different languages, French, Spanish or German, and we've got adults, as in men and women, different information. The easiest way to complete a question like this, when it's lots of individual sentences of data, is to use a two-way table. Now, I'm not going to do this really neat because I'm not going to waste time. I've got four marks for my question. However, that's going to be on my working out. So first of all, I just need to construct a two-way table. It doesn't matter which way round the two go. I think I'm going to do my languages just down the side. So I've got French, Spanish and German. as my three options for my languages and I will need a total row as well and for my other columns the other way around that we're talking about it is the men and women so it might be men and women and it would be fine if you use male or female and again we'll need a total now the neat people out there will use a ruler which is sensible so I will do that to ensure we line everything up but don't worry just quickly get the lines drawn because at the moment I'm getting no marks. I'm setting it up so that I will get marks, but currently I'm not going to be getting anything. Like that. Okay, and I could potentially close up a total. Right, so first of all, every single bit of information in this question I need to transfer into this table. It starts off, and the, what the first people, some people may miss this, they'll just concentrate on this data here. Whereas it starts off, right at the start, how many adults you've got. So 130 people in total. So my total number of people is going to be 130. At the moment, I don't know my split between male and females or men and women, but hopefully that shall come out as I work through. So, first thing, 96 of the adults are women. The total number of women is 96. Okay, tick, I've done that one. At this stage, I could work out the number of males but I think it's prudent to put all of the information of the question into your two-way table and then start to work around the other bits of information you could work out. So we have 12 women that study French. We put a 12 in the box between women and French. Tick again, maybe to say I've done it. I wouldn't cross out because you might need to read, read the question when you're checking through at the end. 73 of adults study Spanish. So the total number doing Spanish here is 73. 55 of the women study Spanish. Okay, so Spanish, women, 55. Nine of the men study German. So men, German, nine. Okay, so that's all my original data. I need to know how many adults study French. So I need to know this figure here. Okay, I might not have to fill the whole table in. I am able to do so. But right now, that's where I need to get to. So I need to know how many men do French and try and work my way around. But just start working somewhere, and if you need to use a calculator for it, you may do. So men is here. Men plus women equal the total number. So if it's 130, I need to take away the 96 to work out how many men. Okay, don't make any simple number errors. Do use your calculator. So this is 34. Okay, that's not going to lead me to anything else quite yet. But I could here work out the number of uh, men doing Spanish. 55 are women, and there's 73 in total. So again, if I do 73 minus my 55, I'll work out the total number of men doing Spanish. So 73 minus 55 leaves me with 18 men that are doing Spanish. I can now work out the total number of men doing French, because these three numbers will total to become 34. So if I do 34 minus 9 minus 18 and work out the remainder that will be the amount of men doing French so if I do 34 minus 9 I could do it as one sum but I can easily just put an equals in between it leaves me to 25 left so if I minus the 18 that are doing the Spanish that leaves me with seven men left that are doing French the total number of adults studying French is 7 plus 12 I can use my calculator if I wish to 7 plus 12 is 19 now I, at this stage, personally would move straight on to my next question then. At the end, if I've got time, I'd come back, just work out these final two values, 
and I can use that just to make all sure the numbers check and I haven't done a simple error. You may also wish to just check when you run back through that you did use all the original data accurately and that your deduced values are correct.